Hey everybody, it's Jake. Um, back with another video. These videos, um, I'm just trying to do to have something to send to somebody who is looking to work with me. Or if you're just out there on YouTube, and this will be helpful. Just so, you know, I got clients who work... You know, they have their own setup at, at their house and they want to send stuff to me to mix. And I've had a few occasions where stuff kind of comes in a bit crazy, you know, because, you know, maybe they just got audacity and they really don't know their way around any audio program. And so they're not sure on how to set up anything or gain. And so these these next couple videos are going to cover that. So this one is just covering if you you recorded your stuff in Audacity and you want to send it to your mix engineer and you want to have everything lined up, you want to send him all the stems separately so he has control over them instead of them all just pasted together and then the beat. He can do a lot when he has the individual stems there's a lot of stuff you can do so i really don't use audacity i've used it in the past just the the mess around with stuff so i had to do some do a little bit of digging on on how to get stems out because the issue is you can go out you can go up here and export multiple right but the issue is like this track all these three tracks start at the zero point so when you load them all up into uh, pro tools they're all going to start at zero and they're all going to be in sync but this one if you exported it like this and you import it in the Pro Tools, this part is going to start down here with everything else. Everything else is going to start down here. You need to add silence to this one and then conjoin it with this piece. Um, and to do that, you have to do it to all of them because if you add a bit of silence to here, it's going to push it back in time, but then it's going to be out of, out of sync with the beat and everything else. So you have to do all of them together. So to do that, you do control A on PC or command A. So that's highlight every track you have in your project. And then you hit skip to start and all your tracks are still highlighted. This is the major point to it because we're adding silence to all of them. So we're going to generate silence. So we're just going to add one second. Okay, so that pushed everything. Everything is still in time. It just starts a second later, which is fine. You could send your engineer something that starts... 10 minutes later just to fuck with him if you want to it would still be in time and then he would chop it all off and think you're crazy so then what you do is you know the only one we need to work on is this guy because he like i said if we just export him like this he would show up down here we have to expand him so this slice and this slice are connected, highlighted together. So after you have the parts highlighted, we're going to join them. And the key command for that is just Control J, and you do the rest. Control J. Okay, takes a little. It's a little bit of a lag. And then what you do is export multiples. And what I said in my recording basic video is always export stems at the same uh, bit depth and sample rate as you record them, just so that there's no loss. And also to use WAVE. You have WAVE 32-bit or 16-bit. 
don't use 16-bit. If that's the only thing you got, I guess so. But we recorded, as you can see, these say 24-bit. So it's okay if we go up to 32-bit. It's it's not adding anything. It's just it's just going to add a bit more uh, dynamic range. And that's it. What I would also say is just to help your engineer out. Um, I don't have these labeled correctly, but go in and label your stuff. You know, be descriptive. So verse and hook and ad libs and stabs just so that you and the engineer are on the same page it'll help him out and in the next video we'll talk about the gain structure you know with your preamp getting the right levels we'll talk a bit about why we do things a certain way when it comes to our preamp and we'll talk about cleaning up our uh, our tracks and that's it. So I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully you're not scratching your head about how to do the stems to send out. But anyway, if you guys want to send me your stems, <laughs> you can. Just get a hold of me, uh, sidewarmedia.email at gmail.com. Or hit me up through the website, sidewarmediastudios.com. And there's a link at the bottom. Not a link. There's a space at the bottom where you can send a message, message and it'll show up in my email box. And then we could talk that way and you could send stuff over or whatever. Anyway, guys, have a good day.